I've heard of Gen X and Gen Y, but what about Generation Alpha? Alphas are aged 11 years and under and will soon outnumber baby boomers. Yeah, they're likely to see in the next century and work in jobs that don't yet exist. Now, a new book by Aussie social researchers is looking at what's in store for the kids of today. They've been tapping on smartphones while still in nappies, learning about the world through iPads even before they could walk. Meet Generation Alpha, also known as Generation Glass. I spend more time on Google. I use YouTube more usually. Sometimes I just look up some questions that I need to be answered. I normally am on Messenger Kids or I'm searching up photos. Alphas already make up one in seven Aussie residents, yet few people have heard of them. Before them were the baby boomers, born between 1946 and 1964. Then came Gen X, followed by Gen Y, also known as Millennials, and Gen Z. Generation Alpha covers those born from 2010 to 2024. Now a new book looks at what's in store for their future. The authors say many will never sit a written exam use cash, vote in a traditional polling booth, or own a car. It is a worry. Um, I think their whole lives are being dictated by screens. Co-author of the book Generation Alpha, Mark McCrindle, joins us now. Mark, you, you coin Generation Alpha. Why? Well, we got to the end of the alphabet there with generations X and Y and Z. And it's not about going back to A. It's not about going back to the start because this is the first generation fully born in the 21st century, the yeah. first truly global generation, digital. So it's a whole new naming classification. That's why we went with the Greek of Generation Alpha. So what are their big challenges? Well, global connectivity, just the distraction of phones, the opportunities that comes with technology, but also the challenges of that. You know, the year they were born, 2010, was the year the iPad was invented, Instagram was launched, word of the year was app in that year. So that tells something about the times that have shaped them, and that's having a big impact on them uh, and also some challenges for them. OK, so they're, they're going through, their lives will have rapid change. So as a parent of a Gen Alpha. How do you prepare them for the future? Because the book is all about how they're going to have to cope with change, that they're, they're going to be on their screens the whole time. So do we let them on the iPad? We don't put restrictions on it because that's going to be their life. Well, it is going to be their life, and I think it's good that they have those technological skills, but we don't want them just to be able to do what computers can do, because anything that can be outsourced to robotics and automation, it will be. Right. What computers can't do is interact with people. Those people skills, the empathy and social skills, being able to think about complex tasks and, and, and innovate and adapt and be entrepreneurial, that's humanly. Uh, uh, alone. And so I think this, the key for us is to give them the people skills, the transferable yeah. social skills, so they can use technology as a tool, but still thrive in the world of humans. Okay. Yeah, a couple of things that have come up with our kids going through. The teachers are complaining because uh, they're having uh, trouble getting kids to read. Mm. Um, and one of my sons had his first job and the, the boss said, stand at the door and start talking to people. Yes. That was his test. <laughs> because a lot of kids don't. No, that's right. They've grown up almost hiding behind the technology. Why call someone when you can text them? And that can reduce the social risks, but it can create a comfort zone that's too small. So we do have to stretch them. Even just outdoor play, creative play, getting them into nature to climb a tree, let them have some risks, managed risks, but let them develop those uh, physical skills rather than just have them, right. you know, cocooned. So as a parent, we've got to give them the old skills. Yeah. <laughs> the we? timeless skills. Yeah. In a hundred years, you know, we'll have technologies, but we'll still be sitting down and talking because yeah. that's eminently human and that's going to be there for the future. That's fascinating. Oh. We're, we're quite good at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right. <laughs> Mark, that's fascinating. Thank you, Thank you for that. Uh, and the book Generation Alpha, if you want to know more about it, is out tomorrow.